So in this Power World video, I'm going to be showing you how to get 10 great pals early that will benefit you having around at your base. Hopefully something in here helps you out. I jam-packed this video with not only pals to get early that will benefit you, but plenty of tips too to hopefully help out. Let's go ahead and get into all of these now. Alright, so for this first pal, it's going to be located right over here on the map. And this one is really easy to get because all you're going to have to do is open up a cage. It's called Arsox. And it's a great pal, and you're able to ride it, too. All you have to do is make the mounts. As you can see, you just free it from the cage, and you'll automatically get it. And you also get some flame organs, too, when you do free it. The flame organs are beneficial to hold on to because that's one of the materials that's required to create the mount for it so you can ride it. You're going to need 10 flame organs in total, which one way to get those is just by taking out fire pals that you find around. So yeah, making the mount and putting it on our socks will get you to travel around faster. And some other things that are special about this pal is when you are riding it, it'll keep you warm in cold environments and it has level two kindling and level one lumbering. So that's the kind of work that it can do around your base. Finding a pal that has kindling is important, especially early. Kindling has numerous benefits because it helps you make something specific that's required for a lot of building at your base. And that material is called an ingot. And how you make ingots is by learning how to craft a primitive furnace from technology and then build it at your base somewhere once you do learn how to craft it. Doesn't really matter where. And once you do craft it, you can assign Orsox at your base by going up to your pal box and he will use his fire to kindle the furnace here. So it'll help you craft ingots. Keep in mind, it will require ore though that you'll have to put into the furnace to make the ore into ingots, which is once again required to make a lot of things in the game. One important thing that you have to use ingots to make is a flying saddle, which further in this video I'll be showing you how to get a flying pal, specifically the Nightwing. But yeah, this is one good pal to get really early and easily. Alright, so this next pal is a common one, but a crucial one to get, especially early in the game, and I'll be explaining why. You can find some of them around here. You can actually find plenty of them around the plateau of beginnings. It doesn't really matter where around that area. But yeah, this next pal is the Cativas. The reason why these are beneficial is because of what they can... is because of how much help they can actually do around your base. And they're really easy to catch, too, so... Yeah, just hit them a few times and you should be able to capture them, especially early on. And the reason why they're beneficial to have around your base, as you can see, they'll basically do it all. Go ahead and view details of them and look at all the work suitability they are able to do around the base. They have level 1 handiwork, level 1 transporting, level 1 gathering, and level 1 mining. So, yeah, they're pretty helpful to have around at your base. And not to mention something pretty awesome that they also do is while they are on your team, Kativa helps carry supplies and it also increases the player's max carrying capacity. So you'll be able to carry more while having these Kativas. These are definitely worth getting. Alright, so this next pal that I recommend getting is Vixie. The reason why Vixie is so beneficial to have is, well, what it does around the base. As you can see, uh, it states, sometimes it digs up items from the ground when assigned to a ranch. So you will have to make a ranch at your base, which you learn how to make a ranch in technology, and then, you know, you have to craft it at your base. Once you have the ranch, though, Vixie will then go into it. As you see, the work suitability with Vixie is gathering at level 1 and farming at level 1. And while Vixie is at the ranch, you will notice that it will accumulate loads of pal spears and raw meat that will benefit you, as well as other resources too. It's just insane how much pal spears, though, that Vixie accumulates. I don't know if this will be nerfed sometime in the future because it is an insane amount. Like, I am insanely stocked on pal spears thanks to Vixie. So yeah, this is definitely one that I highly recommend getting, especially early on, just so you're loaded up on pal spears. And keep in mind, the more of them that you catch, the more you can have of them working around at your base. And this one will be located around in this vicinity. You'll find them around in this general area. Just be on the lookout for the fall trees around in that area. That's where some of them will be at. Okay, so this next one is going to be a flying type pal. It's one of the earlier flying pals that you can encounter, and that is Nightwing. The reason why you want to try to get this early is because you'll be able to 
eventually ride one as soon as you make the mount, which you learn how to make the mount once again by going to technology, and then you'll craft it at a workbench. But yeah, one of the areas where you can find a Nightwing at will be located right here near the very beginning. It'll be right next to the grassy behemoth hills fast travel point. You can potentially find some Nightwings around in this area. As you can see here, I got a Nightwing right here. Now keep in mind if he's not here for you, you may just have to come back some other time or just try to look more around in different parts of this area. Typically you can find a Nightwing around in this vicinity. It can be kind of tricky to catch, but just make sure you get it low enough and you should eventually be able to capture it. But yeah, as you can see, it can be ridden. And as for what it does at your base, it has gathering level two. So that's its work suitability. But for the most part, it's most beneficial to just get around the map extremely fast. Okay, so this next one's gonna be located also in the very beginning here. You can find it kind of close to the grassy behemoth hills fast travel point. They will be located around this vicinity on the map. You can find dinosaurs here. As you can see, this is what they'll look like and they are really beneficial to have around your base. They can be kind of tougher to take on, but as long as you keep your distance and you just throw down a pal to do some work, specifically a fire type if you do have one because it's highly effective against dinosaur since it is plant type. Also, don't be intimidated by the level of this creature. Just because it's this level for me doesn't mean it's going to be the same level for you when you encounter these around this area. But yeah, once you capture it, as you can see, here are the details of it. First off, you are able to ride this. You'll have to make a mount though, but when you do put a mount on it, its powers will get more powerful. Also, it has level two planting and level three lumbering. Both of these are beneficial. Specifically, the planning, in my opinion. I love this skill just because it keeps all of our pals nice and fed. All we have to do is just craft a feed box down at our base and then add some plantations down at our base, whatever we're trying to grow. For example, here I got some red berries growing here and I have some red berry seeds in my inventory, so the dinosaur will automatically plant them in the plantations. And it goes kind of fast since it does have level two planting. And a good combination to have, which is bringing me to my next pal that I wanted to show you all to get early, and that is a water type. Because if you have a water type and a plant type at your base, the water type is going to continue to water the plants that the plant type plants at your base. <laughs> Anyways, one area that you can go to to find a pretty good beginner water type pal will be over here at Grassy Behemoth Hills. Personally, I think this is one of the best early water type pals that you can get. It's this Pangolet because it has because it has a lot of extra skills that you can do around at your base. And keep in mind, if you don't find the Pangolet when you come over here at first, just simply travel away and then travel back and eventually it will appear here. It may take you a few tries fast traveling back and forth to this place for it to appear. Same with the Nightwing or whatever else you're trying to get to appear at the specific area that I told you to go to to find the PAL. Okay, so check this out. When you go to view details, you can get the Pangola to have a rocket launcher, which is pretty awesome, but it also has a lot of extra things that it can work on too at your base. It has watering skill, handiwork skill, cooling skill, and transporting skill. So yeah, it's better than most water types that you get in the beginning. I'll show you a few other examples of some other water types just to give you guys some examples. Like for instance here, this t -Fent. This is an early water type pal that you can get and it only has watering. Uh, let's see, this Celeray has watering and transporting. So yeah, the Pangolet, I'd say, is one of the better early water type pals to get your hands on. And this thing works hand in hand with a planter. The planter will go and plant the seeds in the plantation here and then the water type pal will come over here and water the seeds. Pretty awesome. And it'll transport as well the harvested plants to your feed box. So be sure to make a feed box as well when you do have a water type and plant type at your base because you will continue to stock up on food that will be transported to your feed box to feed your pals. So yeah, plant and water type pals work great together. All right, so one area to discover this next pal will be located right over here near the Rain Syndicate Tower entrance, fast travel point. You can find a dungeon over here that you can go inside of. You can find this pal sometimes in the dungeons. It won't always be in the dungeons when you go through them, but sometimes you can encounter this pal. Specifically, the lower level dungeons is where I personally have discovered these. 
as you can see, it's this black cat here. And I gotta say, it's definitely beneficial to have around at your base. As you can see, this special skill on it is called Gold Digger. It sometimes digs up gold coin when assigned to the ranch. And yeah, it's only skill available at our base is farming. But it's able to dig up gold for us while it's working at the ranch. So getting a bunch of these and placing them at your base sometimes and just have them do some work while you go somewhere else and then come back, you can accumulate quite a bit of gold from these cats. Helps you get stocked up on gold so you can purchase things from special vendors around the game, like the black market vendor or something. And real quick, in case you don't find the pal in the first dungeon that I showed you, you can find another dungeon over here. You just have to backtrack from the very first uh, fast travel point that you find, the Plateau of Beginnings. Just backtrack from there and go backwards all the way to this beach down here. And down here, you will find another dungeon that you can go in to potentially find the Mal Pal. Or heck, maybe you'll find two. You'll find one in the first dungeon I showed you and another in this dungeon. So you'll get more gold over time at your ranch by having them at your base. All right, so this next pal that I highly recommend to get your hands on is Rush Ore. This is a very beneficial pal, especially early in game. You can find plenty of them from the Plateau of Beginnings around in this general vicinity. And yeah, they're not difficult whatsoever to catch. And what makes them so beneficial is because of how good they are at mining. It's insane. So yeah, as you can see, their work suitability at your base is level one for mining. So they will mine for you at your base, but you can also use them to mine too while hanging out around your base. As you can see, their skill is it can be ridden, and while it's being ridden, it increases the efficiency of destroying boulders while mounted on it. So yeah, and the mount isn't difficult whatsoever to create. You just got to go in technology and go down to unlock the mount. And all it's going to require to make it is leather, stone, and, and paldeum fragments. So just go up to your PAL gear workbench and choose to create the Rush Ore saddle here. Once you have the saddle made, put the PAL in your party, summon it, and you should be able to just ride it now if you hold it next. And check this out. Look how fast it destroys these rocks. 21 ore right there, just by slamming it once. You know how long that would have took by just trying to mine it regularly? That's insane. 43 ore right there. This is a great way to stock up on ore to make ingots to help make things at your base. This pal is great on building up your base really quickly. Real quick, I want to show you how slow it is with just trying to mine it regularly with a pickaxe. Yeah, one little slam with the rush ore got me tons of ore. Its name now makes a little bit more sense, rush ore. All right, so this next one's gonna be located right over here at the ravine entrance. Keep in mind, if you don't find this specific pal over here when you come over here, all you gotta do is just fast travel away to a different fast travel point and then fast travel back. And you'll get different pals each time you come here. Mazarina over here has a potential chance of spawning. And the reason why this pal is crucial to get, especially in the early stages, is because you can use this pal to help breed your pals. I'm not going to get fully into detail over how to breed your pals at the moment, but a cake is one of the requirements to help you breed. And one of the ingredients that's needed to make a cake is milk. And how you get milk is from Mazarina. That's one of her specialties. While she's at a ranch, she'll produce milk over time. And that's one of the crucial ingredients that you need to make the cake. And yeah, for those of you who are wondering, well, how do you even make the cake you're gonna to have to get to level 17 and then once you get to level 17 you unlock a cooking pot and once you place down the cooking pot you'll automatically be able to make the cake of course there's other ingredients that's required to make it like eggs uh, for another example which you get eggs from chickpea which that's a common early pal you'll find around i'm not going to count chickpea though just because i feel like most players know where chickpea is at and that it produces eggs at a base all right, so this last and final one will be Digitoys. I saved one of the best for last. I will say this is a harder one to catch, uh, but keep in mind the level that you see right now, a level 20 here, it's not gonna be level 20 for you if you come here at a lower level. Like I've seen people catch this at like 11 or 10 and Digitoys was around that level. So yeah, keep that in mind. 
Also, it is going to be hot over in this environment. So yeah, that is a downfall. There are alternative ways to avoid the heat though, if you want. But the main objective when coming over to this location is to just capture Digitoys to provide help at our base. At the moment anyways. Which by the way, Digitoys is located right over here on the map. You can spawn up here on the map if you want and work your way down so it's a less of a trek for you. Or you can try to traverse all the way up here. It's totally up to you how you want to get over here. But yeah, I also recommend to, if you have one, a Mega Sphere, which if you don't, you find them randomly around in the game, or you can craft them as well. Uh, you just have to unlock them first in technology. But yeah, Mega Sphere makes it much easier to capture this pal. I will say it is still possible with a regular pal sphere, so don't get me wrong, you still can do it. It's just going to be less time consuming with a Mega Sphere. But yeah, check this out. When you have Digitoys at your base, it will mine the ore for you. On that note, it's good to know also that only level two and three mining can mine the ore for you. And as you can see, Digitoys has level three mining. It's freaking amazing. He is super fast at mining stuff. It also has a skill called Drill Crusher. It begins shell spin. It then follows the player while spinning, allowing the efficient destruction of ore. How cool is that? So yeah, when you assign him to work at your base, he'll go ham on these rocks. Check it out. Freaking awesome. Of course, just have a transporter, so a transporter will be transporting everything to the wooden chest. Like, for example, Kativa. But yeah, there you guys have it, everyone. Ten amazing pals to get early to help you at your base. Hopefully something in here helps you out in some kind of way. I jam-packed this video with loads of tips, too. Anyways, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.